Okay, so today I'm going to be testing several different keyword tools. These keyword tools will be testing the same um, search term to see if we can see any discrepancies between them. We'll start off with the keyword planner, the AdWords keyword planner with the search term iPhone X. I already did this ahead of time. iPhone X gets two million two hundred and forty thousand searches according to Google AdWords a month this is in the United States Oops. It's a copy. okay let's see what Moz says about it Okay, iPhone, iPhone X gets 300,000 to 1.5 million. That's a little bit different. That's not quite the same as what AdWords is telling us for the same keyword. So let's see what it says in the search. Same keyword, iPhone X. Not a robot search. Here we go. iPhone X says 6,600. That's a huge difference. Let's see if we can uh, get some search results from Moz. Or I mean SEM Rush. See what SEM Rush is saying. So I got that. iPhone X organic search 2.2 million. That's a little bit closer to what Google's telling us. That's not that's not too far off. 2.2 million. Yeah, that's that's about the same. Let's uh, see what we can find out about for Galaxy Note. I'm sure there's a lot less interest, but let's see what we can find out. For this search term Galaxy Note, according to AdWords, has 4,400. Okay, same keyword. We'll see how it performs in Moz. They say six and a half thousand to Nine point three thousand. That seems to be a pretty big discrepancy. Same keyword. Okay, so according to SERPs, there are no search results for the keyword Galaxy, Galaxy Note 8. Let's see what SEM Rush has to say about it. Calculating, calculating. Three point six thousand. Big old goose egg for search. That we're seeing some pretty big discrepancies here. These these are not these are not the same numbers. These are the same keywords. So we obviously know there's going to be search search volume at this current time for iPhone X and a less but but certainly an interest for Galaxy Note 8. But the discrepancies you see here are pretty big. It's important that you do have your own analytics tracking for your for your marketing. You know, AdWords provides uh, analytics for you. In 
inside of the AdWords platform and Google Analytics, which are actually fantastic. But in order to back up and make sure that these numbers are accurate, I really strongly su suggest that you have um, your own open, open source tracking software on your site that, that you can basically verify that the numbers are correct you know so that you own the numbers or even if you don't want to use Google Analytics have your own tracking because you, you, you don't trust that analytics is in your website or um, or, or wants all, all of your information or, or sell your information if you're worried about that you know that's that's a certain interest to a lot of businesses um, but it's very it's very important that you can verify that the numbers are accurate on your end as far as your conversion da data your uh, keyword tracking all of it you make sure that you know what's actually getting your your money you know it's it's good to have the conversions set up for you and uh, your analytics tracked and reporting done for you by a professional Google Analytics certified company like online marketing techs. If you have any any questions about analytics tracking or website tracking, feel free to contact us online marketingtext.com. Have a great day and don't forget to subscribe.